In this video, I'll show you how to use Universal Automation to run PowerShell scripts with alternate credentials against Active Directory. To use this type of uh, setup, you'll have to do some configuration in order to allow Universal Automation to run the scripts as these alternate credentials. As you can see here, I have Universal Automation running inside uh, a Windows 2019 server. I have one script, and this script, all it does is run the who am I command. So if I run this script right now with the default credentials, what you're going to see is it's going to output the current username of the user running the script. In this scenario, I'm running under a user named Bill. If you look at the service configuration for my uh, Universal Automation service, what you'll notice is that it is configured to run under the uh, Bill account. So Bill has been granted logon as service privilege and he is the one that is running this particular account. In addition to uh, configuring the service for a particular user, you also need to set a couple settings in the group policy for uh, your domain. So in my domain, I have a, another user uh, called Adam. Adam has been added to the uh, domain admins or the uh, administrators group. Um, on this local machine. Inside my group policy editor, I've opened up the default domain controller policy and I've navigated to user rights management. There are three settings that I need to set to ensure that we can launch a process or a job as Adam from the Universal Automation uh, service. The first setting that we need to set is the replace a process level token setting. This needs to be granted to the uh, service account, so in this case, Bill. By default, or um, by default, administrators is not in here, so I've added the administrators account, which Bill is a part of. Addish additionally, we need to uh, set the adjust memory quotas for a process um, setting, and that by default includes administrators, but uh, in this case, um, Bill is already a part of that group, so we don't have to change this setting. Um, finally, we need to allow um, for the uh, account that we're going to be executing at, as, so in this case Adam, is going to need the logon as batch job um, uh, privilege. So uh, administrators is, I believe, not part of this by default, so you'll have to add your group or user to this particular list here. Um, you'll have to force a uh, a re-evaluation of the group policy or restart the machine after you change these settings. Uh, once that's done, we should be able to run uh, a user or jobs as the Atom user. Um, in Universal Automation 1.2, we've added support for um, secret management. So what we can do is actually add that credential to our secret store. So uh, the secret management feature of Universal Automation uses the Microsoft Secret Management PowerShell module, so it's not actually storing the secret in UA, it's storing it within the default built-in vault uh, that is part of universe, or, uh, the Microsoft Secret Management um, module. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new credential within the Secret Management vault. Um, you're going to want to use the fully qualified name for your user and then specify a password. And then you can select the vault that we want to store it in. So we're going to store it in the built-in vault, which uh, by default uses the credential manager uh, on Windows. So I'm going to click OK here, and you're going to see that now I have a secret that's been added to uh, Universal Automation. Uh, like I said, this is just a reference to um, that secret that's stored within the vault. When we go to actually execute this job, uh, Universal Automation will automatically go and retrieve that credential from the vault and use it to start the process. So now if we go back over to our scripts tab, we can click run, and then you'll see we have another option here in the run as dropdown uh, for the Atom account. I'm going to click run here, and it's going to start this job and run that process as the other user. As you can see here, uh, it denotes that it's going to be running as Atom, which is the credential that it's chosen, and you can see that the whoami command has now output uh, universal slash Atom since it ran this particular command as that user. 
So in this uh, video, we went over how to configure universal automation to run scripts as alternate users in a domain environment.